Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia, and today I thought we could talk about relationships and mental health. So, if you didn't see my last video, me and Kyle did break up, and I'm still very emotional about it, but I'm not crying on camera, so that's a good thing. When you have mental illness, it's hard to reach out to have a relationship. When you have a mental illness, it's hard to find someone who you connect with and understands that you have a mental illness. And when you do have a mental illness, you have to be with someone who can understand that things don't always go smoothly. Which was one of the good things about mine and Kyle's relationship. We knew each other well. And there are certain aspects that, that came into our mental health, so we both take medication on mental health. So it was constantly reminding each other to get a bed. Here are some tips for if you want to get into a relationship and you have mental illness. Be honest about everything to do with your mental health. If you've got scars, explain where it all came, where it all started for you. And make it clear that, that your mental health is not their mental health. Everyone I've dated has a mental illness. So it's hard for me to say for people who don't have a mental illness what to do. Because I've never been in that situation where I've been with someone that doesn't have a mental illness. So for me having a relationship meant that I had someone that I had a connection with and that I fell in love with. Relationship and mental health are hard. So when you're in your mental illness, you sometimes you just want to be alone and that can be hard when you're in a relationship. But it's also not hard to put it into a conversation. You can be like, hey, I need some time alone. And you can go into a different room or go out for a walk. Personally, I see no issues with having your own place and them having their own place rather than living together. Moving in together is a really, really serious sign of getting real with the relationship because you're, you're giving up your safe space. So I'm not a very sexual person. The idea of having sex to me is I don't want it. I, do, I don't want it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and pretend hey, I'm getting fucked every day because that's not what I'm like. I don't want sex. I just want to be mean. I think there are ways you can show love without having sex. And I want kids in the future. So obviously I'll be have sex, but I don't want it right now. But in the future I will, because me wants baby, and babies come from one place. I guess I could adopt. That would, that would help. I need to be like discharged mental health services before, but we'll see in the future. I can't have kids while I live here. Can I? Anyway, enough about kids. What am I doing? I've got an, I've got an attention. When you're in a relationship and you have mental health issues, it's very easy to be like, I don't want to be in a relationship because my mental health is more important. But at the same time, you get when being in a relationship, you get the support of the other person. And in a way, you can then work together to build something that's a relationship. A bit of a... <laughs> Oh my fucking door! What was I even talking about? I've been at uni. I, I got up at seven forty this morning. Forty minutes, twenty minutes is long enough for me to get ready in the morning. Cause I don't wear makeup. Even though I've got a lot of it, I might wear makeup in December. We'll see. I'm doing vlogmas this year again, so that's, that's the thing. Oh, I'm starting physio in December on the eighth at one pm. So I won't be going to a lecture that day. Anyway, back on the topic of relationships. It's hard, okay? It is hard. So just make sure that you're stable enough to be getting a relationship because you don't want to have constant triggers for each other. You have to be ready to be in a relationship. And that's what I guess is the most important thing. If you're not emotionally ready to be in a relationship, don't put you and someone else in pain because you're not ready. A lot of you guys have trauma and disorders, and so do I. I can't remember what I was saying. I just had to delete stuff off my camera because my back, my memory was full. <laughs> so I really can't remember where my little tangent was going. But being ready to be in a relationship is so important. If you're not ready, you end up breaking off that relationship and it hurts the other person, which isn't good. I think one of the hardest things in a relationship is being ready for it and knowing your intentions and what you want out of the relationship. For me, I want to settle down with someone. I don't want to be dating different people constantly. That's not who I am. My issue with that at the minute is I'm a uni student, so I, I put university above everything. My issue 
also is I haven't ever done trauma therapy and that's something that I want to do but I, all in all I'm I want to get to get to know someone. I don't want to push the relationship forward like it's nothing and go through all the emotions. I want to build a healthy relationship with someone. I thought I was doing a title, but apparently not. But yeah, thank you for listening to me ramble about some different things about relationships and mental health. I, I don't know if it's been useful or not. Yeah, you learned, already learned something about me, but yeah, I think Make sure you're ready for the relationship. That's the most important thing. Peace.